all the terraforming finally completed. Oh, hey, look. Look. Enderman, look. Put, put it back, will you? Please. Please. I will cut you. Right. Got the block. I'll put it back. Ah, oh, come on. Enderman, stop messing with my terraforming. Please. Sorry for killing you. Well, McBacon, it was a lot of hard work and death, but I think the problem is solved. Awesome fun! Hello, you wonderful dudes, dudettes, and dudes who defy description. I am Oz. This is Awesome Fun, and welcome to our Agency Fortnite build. Over a series of tutorials, I will show you, block by block, how to create everything you see here. The buildings, terraforming, interiors, vehicles, and even a secret vault. Every episode is chapterized to help you navigate to where you need, and all the materials are listed in the description. This is a close approximation of the Fortnite agency, but not 100% exact. Thanks to Ashton, who requested this build in the comments. Right, let's get into it. A quick reminder that this is the fourth episode and the final one that covers doing the exterior of the agency. And then we'll move on to our four parts of the awesome interiors. So we start off exactly where we finished in the last one. So if you haven't seen the last one, I'll put a card on the screen, hopefully. But also you can go back and watch part three because this is about to begin from the exact place that one left off. So enjoy the rest of the tutorial. And of course, if you want to jump around and see how to do things like just build a tree or just build specific little statue bits or certain things, you can use the chapters in the description below. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're going to come here to where the helipad is in front of these windows. We're going to come to this corner I'm going to count one, two, three, then on the fourth, we're going to break out this direction for a total of ten. So ten takes us up to here, and we're going to break down this way for a total of eleven. So one, two, so two, three, even, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then just cut this out into a square, there's ten this way, eleven that way, on all sides. With our hole prepared, we're then going to come to this edge here that's in line with this barrier. We're going to come in one, turn around, and place four stairs. We actually want them yep, to be that way. So one, two, three, and four with this going the right way. Then everywhere else you can put upside down stone stairs going all the way around the inside of this square. And when you've got all the walls in place, what you're going to do is create underneath it a layer of the regular quartz stairs just all the way around. They can then obviously extend the stairs down and we're going to place three quartz block underneath the stairs and use gravel as the floor. So you just extend this all the way around to there, extend the wall as well, fill it in with gravel and extend the stairs out too. There it is, all sorted, our nice little drop down bit there. And what we're going to then of course do is copy our fence design and put it I would say we'll put these things around the edge and then we'll fill the bit in between with the standard kind of fencing and don't forget to go down the banister as well. Now we'll come to this building that's sticking out the side that we built the little balcony on top of just earlier. We'll come to this very corner and starting underneath where the stone is, we'll break out one, two, three, then just draw a pathway of dirt that takes you along to the side here and then all you need to do is step the blocks down as stairs and this is going to form where our stairs are. Now here's the design for stairs. Once again we're using the crazy falling through heavy weighted pleasure, pleasure plate. Yeah it's a pleasure plate uh, for sure. It brings lots of pleasure. 
when you stand on it. So we place that there, then on the side we're going to place one of our end rods with the light grey carpet. So you just keep doing this design all the way up, and then you follow the same design with a single bit with the pressure plates, <laughs> and of course the outside being the fence, but all using the iron bars underneath. There we go, and a little finishing touch we're going to want to add is, I started doing it here, the single way we went up, we probably just want to add two more underneath each one, so it gives it this nice square shape, I think like that makes it look really good, fire escape-esque. Okay, we want to make a special pathway to connect the main building to our helipad, and we're going to do that by using daylight detectors. So you just run them in this line here, go from either edge, of this bit here. We're going to put a doorway in here in a little while. And this pathway runs straight line all the way along here. It'll line up nicely with this edge here and then just run all the way around and finish it when it gets to the gates. Now we want to replace all of this pathway here with light grey concrete powder. So you want to fill all the section within the path in with that. From our pathway, we'll move over to some landscaping here. Now we'll come into what is the center. So if you come to the very center of the building, is the center of this kind of curved bit as well. So we see we are bang in the center of it here. And we're going to come back 10 blocks, and then we're going to put upside down stone stairs. Then we're going to come over for a total of four in this direction to the left. Then we're going to come forward here turn around into a curve, then we're going to do that again, into another curve there, then you're going to come down for three, so one, two, and three, then we're going to come across one, down another two, then we're going to come across one and just down for a one curve there, then we're going to come across here, and down, across, and down, across and down, then across and down one more time. So that will give you five of these, one, two, three, four, and five, yep, five of the twos. Uh, then we're going to come across for one, and at this point we're going to switch, uh, place this one more time, then we'll switch to our stone slabs. So our stone slab's going to go one here, then we're going to go one, two, three, going up here, one in the diagonal with two sticking up, another two sticking up, then we're going on the diagonal for one and two and three, then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and that'll bring us back in contact with this side. Now what you're going to go ahead and do is fill all the center space here in with dirt. You want this to be grass, so you can do this and then mix a little bit of grass in with it, whatever you fancy. So fill this whole bit in, and this pattern you can see that we've got now this is the center of it, you're just going to mirror image it onto this side here, okay? So this exact bit we did here, onto there. Then what we need to do is put in a fence that's going to start here, it's going to go all the way along here, and it's going to end on this side here. So leave the slab side alone, it's just purely on the stair side, and then you know the kind of thing we'll do along, just the same as we've done everywhere else, along this front curve. We'll then move on to put in our very first sculpture, so we'll come again to the central block and then we'll count one, two, three, and on the fourth block here, we're going to break out one and we're going to make this center part of our statue. So we'll break out one on either side and then we'll break out one, two, three up here, one, two, three along here, and one, two, three along here, and we'll replace all of these with sandstone slab. I mean, all the textures look pretty similar, so any sandstone you like will do fine. Then once we've got rid of that bit, we'll break out the center. Then with the center out, we're just going to place stairs all around the inside in a square like this. Perfect. And we're going to replace this block here instead with a gold block, just like that. Now it's time to build our statue up, so we're going to place one and then uh, two of these and then build up dirty polished diorite, one, two and three. And what you're going to do is around the bottom edge, we're just going to place ourselves 
upside down stairs like that. Then we're going to use the blocks to fill out the outside like so. Then we're going to repeat the stairs, but this time the correct way up. We'll just tower up here on the all four sides here. That gives us the kind of circular shape that we're looking for. And then the other little finishing touch I like to add is in between the corners here, just place, it's just pity you don't get a polished die right wall, so that would be good for this. And that is the main shape that you're looking for. Now the next thing we're going for, this is a little bit weird. You kind of have to freehand this and just sort of see how you get on. But what you're looking to do is curve out draw two curving bits that surround it, one that comes up this way and another one that kind of comes up this way and you're just going to freehand it. So it's kind of hard to explain how to do it. I'm just going to do it and then we'll talk a little bit about it. And there we go. This is uh, what I'm talking about here. So you're going to use your grey stained glass panes and the front one kind of, it starts here, curves back and then curves around the front and then starts here, comes to the front and then curves around the back like this. It's just these curves you're trying to draw and the easiest way I can say to do it is try and draw these curves and then you'll basically be flummoxed a bit by where it connects. You don't want it to connect anywhere so you just have to kind of work around it not connecting to create the statue. So play around with it and I know you'll get there and manage to design this. Now the thing with this is we need another one of these. There's not just one here. We also need one way on the opposite side down in the front bit here. So we're going to place the exact same statue with the gold block in the center right here. Now we're going to put in the first of our logos. So to do that you come to the center of this column at the very front behind our sassy new statue and then you count up onto the fifth block above the stone stairs there and start by putting an iron block in the middle and then around the iron block, not there, we're going to put white concrete here, here, here in a cross shape. Then you're going to put a trapdoor there of the warp variety. This is my first time using that, so quite, quite exciting. Then we're going to put in these. Now we'll need to put levers on the back, triggering them to keep them closed. But for now, they're going to be open. Then we're going to place smooth sandstone stairs here and here. Oh can never get these blocks to go the right way today. And then we're going to put a sandstone slab on top there. Now just repeat that bit on the bottom of course, but we're going to put just on the edge here two of these walls. Now put the same bit on the bit underneath. There we go. Now we just need to expand the building out a little bit to take this into account and put the levers on the back. So I'm going to do that now. So there's our logo completed at the front bit. And that's the kind of small version of it. And you can see the tiny bit I've done just with a block and two stairs to puff that out a little bit, just to give it the right shape. And see, now that we've done all that, it doesn't have a great shape. Especially you'll notice these logos work well from a distance too, because you can obviously only give the hint of the logo that's actually there, because you can't get that kind of detail in Minecraft. But here's a slightly bigger version of it. So you also have it on the front, very top of the building, right in the center. And this one's a slightly bigger version, so I'll let you take a look at that. The same basic structure, but slightly bigger. And then you've got the same thing going on on the other side. We're also going to do a couple of these on the interior, but we'll just come to them when we do the interior. So here is, again, another slightly larger version, just in the same place on the opposite side. And look at this with the detail of the statue, looking great. Now we're going to put our flags in place. We're going to build the first one together and uh, then I'll tell you what we'll do with the rest after that. So we're going to come to the very central block on the top of the roof facing towards the front and then you're going to count one, two, three and on the fourth back we're not going to place a dirt but we are in fact going to place iron bars and we're going to build these up for a height of 16. So one, two, three, 16 iron bars then 17th is going to be a plant pot. Now we're going to drop down and you probably want to build yourself a platform so that you can safely get around uh, near the top of this to attach the flag. Okay, so giving myself a little platform to work. Now what we're going to do is come down on the second block, the second iron bar underneath the plant pot. We're going to go blue, 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 then two whites and a blue. Let's hope our platform works. 
close. So that's our first strip of flag. Then with our next section, we're going to want to pop out one from it, but this time it's only going to be five high. So we'll build five out of dirt block there. And then in front of this, we're going to go this time blue, white, blue, a blue, white. Okay, now this next bit, we're going to pop out once again, but this time only for four. Starting from the bottom of this, so one, two, three, and four. So we're going to need to get rid of this. Then we're going to go blue, white, blue, white. Just like so. Now the next bit is on the same bit. We're not going to pop out anymore. This time we are going to go uh, blue, white, and then two blues. So we're going to have to get underneath and place one underneath there. There we are. And now we're going to pop three out on the side. So we'll do three dirt on that side. And this is going to be all blue. One, two, three. Then we're going to pop out one more time. This time just for two. So let's see. One and two. And then just blue again. Popping out like this. So let's... Now, while we're able to easily climb as well, the other finishing touch you need to take is your light blue carpet, and we're just going to place that on top of the blocks just to help prevent spawning. Now we can get rid of the dirt, we can get rid of the scaffolding and see what we've got. So there's our finished flag. It's easier to actually get it from really far away than it is closer up. So you can see that what we're going for is trying to capture a little bit of that circular white logo design that's on the inside. Now, because this flag is right up at the top, I'm trying to make it look as if it's catching the most wind and is blowing the most. So we've got, I think there's about five or six of these flags to add in various places. So I'm going to add them all now, and then I'm going to show you the slight variations we're going to do on this main design that we just did together. All the flags have been added now, and you'll see that they all basically follow the same theme as the one we made together they're just each slightly smaller and what I tried to go for is I imagine that the wind's stronger at the top and it lessens the lower down you get so that's why these kind of sag a little bit more than the one at the very top. So we've got one here just let you see the position of where that one goes in it's got a gold block in it that's at the bottom we've got another one on this building on this side here again I'll let you see the position of where it is. We've got the one in the middle that we did already. Around this side, we've got this little one down at the side here. And again, I'll let you take that position. Then we've got this little one down here in our balcony area. And we've got this one. I quite like the shape of this one, actually. That's on our little boathouse building there. That's pretty cool. Now we're going to add a couple of different air conditioning style things to the roofs. So once again, I'll show you the main design and then I'll just show you where to put all the different uh, bits of them. So we're going to come here. We're going to count one, two, three, four in. We're going to come one up and with our black wool, lay one, two, three, and four like so. And now we are going to put on top of this some iron blocks just like this. And on top of this are heavy weighted pressure pressure <laughs> i'm not going to say it this time pressure plate now we're also going to put around this to make it look air conditioning these trap doors so once again we'll have to power these blocks underneath probably just using levers so i'm going to go do that so there we go that's what the air conditioning unit looks like so we're going to place a few of them on top of some different roofs then if we come back one two three four Let's come over one, two, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six with cauldrons. And then on top of our cauldrons, we're just going to place iron trap doors like this. And that's a kind of air conditioning sort of vent. So we're going to do these in slightly different shapes and things across all the different roofs. That's the basic designs and materials. I'm going to do them and then show them to you where they are. I speak with word good. <laughs> I uh, figured from above was probably the best way for you to see and get the position. So we've got the Pac-Man shaped air conditioning unit in the bottom here. Up here we've got the L-shaped, upside down L-shaped 
aircon tube and here we've got the big air conditioner here and another large one of these in this corner too then we'll hop over to the next building where here we've got just one aircon down here and another one boomerang shaped up in this corner here too okay now we're going to put in what is a really silly statue but i think really fun so we're going to start by breaking this block out here and then four on either side of it so one two three four and one two three four will give you nine and then you're going to break out one two three four five six seven eight nine here as well now you're going to break this out as a full square so we'll do that first okay with our hole we're then going to go around the entire interior with stairs of the smooth sandstone variety just place the regular way so all around the inside once you've lined it with the stairs you're then going to line the inside with polished dirty diorite stairs all the way around the sort of inside bit of that and then you're going to fill all the rest of it in with polished diorite blocks okay our platform is in place so it's time to now build the statue this weird thing so start by coming into this one two in and two up and place a stair down this way then we're going to come to the very back here and we're going to come second one in from the right but just this first one up here i'm going to place another stair facing that way now we're going to place a stair upwards facing like this and then we're going to come to here and we're going to place a stair this time in a bit of a strange position facing let's see yeah backwards in this direction now we're going to place a temporary block there and have a stair facing up the way facing forward like so and on top of that stairs facing this way we're going to have one like this then we'll come to this other leg and we'll face a stair in the same direction like so then we're going to place a stair up the way like that so you're starting to see the shape of the legs coming in now i think what we'll actually do is stretch the leg out a little bit further by placing this one up here like so and then we're going to just move this one forward and replace this one here with a slab instead and i think that'll make it just look more like the yeah, the legs are stretching out there. Now we're also going to place another slab there just to, again, bulk out those legs. Now we're going to place upside down stairs, not upside down, regular stairs there. And the upside down in front of it. And we'll also put an upside down set on the back there. Yep, starting to look a bit like a person now. And then going to stick another slab here. A slab on either side like that then if we can raise ourselves up a little bit here we are going to get yeah we'll use that as a little temporary block for now then outside the temporary block we'll place on one of those and now what we need to do though this is maybe easier said than done is we need to put an upside down stairs in front of that yeah that's how we'll do it and then we can break out this block now we're just going to copy that on the other side it does start to look like a person with arms isn't it so there it is equal on both sides now we're going to climb up on top of our dude that we're building here and we're going to start placing some blocks to represent the globe he's holding so we're going to do a plus shape like this and then we're going to fill these bits in with iron bars now our next layer is just going to be full iron block so just a three by three like so and then the top block is just the same as the bottom and this will give it a kind of globe shape that this person is holding up then our last uh, finishing touch that we want to add to this is of course the face now i'm hoping this place is right no <laughs> this time <laughs> this time hooray 
So here is our completed statue. This is what I mean about it. it I think it's really silly, but also I kind of like it as well. The statue is supposed to be the guy holding up the, the world. I think it's not too bad and it's got a funny little face on it too. <laughs> our next thing is nice and simple. We're going to come to this edge here. We're going to come to this bit, just one after all this one's on the diagonal. Come into the fifth and place two nether rack. Then around the base of it, you're going to place four stone stairs. Then upside down, stone brick stairs above all of this. Oh, I see you, Skelly, underneath there. And then we're going to place stone brick slabs in the corners, just like this. Then, of course, the last thing you can do is hop on the top, give it a light, and you've got this little fire thing that they've got going. Now, you want to put one of these in the mirror place on the opposite side. Now we're going to put ourselves in a couple of plant pots. Once again, I'll show you the first design and we'll take the rest from there. So we're going to count one, two, three, four up from here. And then we're going to come in one here and do one, two, three with the pods all. Upside down, polished blackstone stairs. And I'm really excited using these textures. Although I've hardly had any chance to look at the new nether due to doing this build which has been crazy then on top of this in the very middle we're going to place a dark oak fence then on top of that if we oh we can, probably can't get on top of that we're going to build ourselves a plus out of green wool with just one little bit on the top then we'll take this one away and if you have a look that is our bush and i think this kind of texture is much better to give the kind of Fortnite cartoony effect to the plants. So that is the design of how you build these style of plant pot. And now I'll build them all and show you where to place the others. So here are our positions for the plant pots. We've got one here and one here, mirror images. Then you've got a third one that is here, just at this place. Then, and look, I told you this was going to be a great angle. Just wait till we build the helicopter. It's going to be even better. Then our last plant pot is just down here. It's not really a plant pot. Bush. Bush pot <laughs> is down in this section here. Now we're going to throw a few details down into the pit. So we're going to use our, is this beehive or bee nest? Beehive. And we're going to stack them up on top of each other. But what we're going to do actually is we're going to try and twist them so that it's this on all the sides. So let's sort that. If do that and then do it this way. Yeah, that gives us the more box-like look. And then on top, we're just going to chuck some of our chocolate bars there. And we've got a nice looking chunky box. Then what you'll do is break out this and this one here. And we're going to set one in, a sea lantern behind there with a jungle trapdoor in front. And we'll do the same thing actually right here to match that side and there we have our lights let's see just sea lantern set one back in with these in front of it and that box there just to give some more detail to this area now we're going to put in some more detail around the helipad we're going to make a little missile that's going to be on a platform so we're going to build up two here and place an iron trap door on the top then we're going to get ourselves our droppers and we're going to try and set them hopefully yep this way, this way, and this way, so that we don't see any of the dropper, just the pattern on the outside. Then we're going to place on top here a bit of red wall. What's that? Red nether brick wall. The new target block in the middle for the center of our missile, and an upside down stair. So this is our sort of missile shape thing that we've got here. I think it's pretty, pretty small, but kind of cool. Uh, and then we're going to place iron trap door on the top here and the top and the top here as well. Now we've got one of these here and we're going to place another one of them uh, up on top. Now I know I'm going to fall through the stairs. It's going to take me forever to get up there and do that. So we're going to come here and we're going to place one of these here. So there is our other missile on the platform. Then we'll come over to here and we're going to come behind this very edge block here and we're going to build this up for one two three four five six seven and then we're going to put a flower pot on top of it 
we're going to drop off here and then on this bit here we're going to stick ourselves uh, one red wool then we're going to let's see we'll need to come out the side a little bit here we'll stick one on the side here and stick another bit of red coming out in this direction and underneath this one we're going to put a little bit of white wool then what we want to do is come out more on the diagonal now so just like this so that we can place another bit of white here and then we're just going to come out once more on the diagonal like this and place this red at the end and this is going to be our wind sock so now what I'll do is get rid of the support blocks and then we'll place red and white carpet on top as well to stop spawning and there's our finished windsock yeah very nice now it's that moment we've all been waiting for it's bench time so we're going to use prismarine brick slabs here and then we're going to take them across to like this jungle trap door with the handle bit at the bottom get rid of the one we used to set that up and boom you got a bench you're going to put one on the opposite side of here as well now we're going to put a lot of benches like this all around the place so I'm going to place them and then show you where they all go. There we go, we've got two benches up here at the curved balcony bit at the front. We've got a bench down here, this one's slightly different, got acacia trapdoors on the back and three wide. Got one in the corner here, this one three wide as well. Of course the same things on the opposite side, just mirrored. Then if you pop up onto here, you've got a little two bench here, a little three bench on this side. Then we'll also have a look around here. We should have another bench. Yeah, here we go. We've got this one here with the acacia trapdoors on the back on this little balcony bit. Then if we fly around here, we've got one in front of this end of the building. Just sitting right here. And then we've got one last one up on top of here. Just like this. You can sit and relax. We also have this style of bench here in the little water place and I also should say we have to put this little logo here as well. I missed mentioning that when we did them all earlier. So those are the benches. Now we're going to fly on over and put in just a couple of little plant pots that need to go in. Very easy to do and we get a chance to use something that we used before which is quite fun so we're going to do item frames all around these two pods all and for these we've got this awesome white map from when we made the ghostbuster map that you can in fact see just over there the rim the rim the edge of the map just in the distance so and then we're going to do that and we're going to place that in there you can of course do something different if you do not have a white map, you could, yeah, potentially use some kind of slabs or white bricks, something like that. We're going to do the same thing now on this side. And then in front of the little building on this side here, we're going to put in another one. We'll find the middle between these two. We'll make this one a three wide and just go the same way. I might come back and make some of these large ferns with some bone meal at a later day, but that is those. I've also made a choice about all the awnings that were originally stone. I've decided to make them all polished diorite. So replace the stairs and the slabs if you like this as a design. It's one of these weird textures. It's not a great texture, but its colors just really work. Look at with the rest of the build. It's just, I think it's really, really good. Work works super well. So you can replace all of those. Now we can think about lighting, it's really up to you what you kind of want to do in terms of lighting. You might decide you want to do something like just put sea lanterns. I think sea lanterns are a good choice because they look nice and modern, I think the most modern kind of looking light. So you might do that just with this on top of it. You might decide as well you want to put them somewhere in here as well. You could even sink them down, of course they don't have to be at this height. You could sink them down a block as well. So I'll leave it up to you to decide where all you might want to put some lighting around the build. Um, another thing I wanted to mention quickly too is there's this little bit up on top of here that looks like that and we could just do something with grey carpet I thought to make this look a little bit nicer. I'm so scared I was hit by a creeper uh, earlier. <laughs> there we go, I think that, I think that does the job. 
Um, and another thing to mention about the build too is that obviously we want to take away these torches. But there's different things you can do alongside lighting. You can of course go ahead and put down string everywhere if you want to do something like that to stop any spawning from occurring in the area. Now it's time to move on to terraforming the area. Now I start by drawing a rough outline of what I want the island to look like using the actual Fortnite map as a basis. It's not going to be exact, but it's as close as you can get it. And you can make changes as you go along. So once you put an initial dirt layer around, I then thicken this up a little bit, as you can see there, and then start building up. Now, obviously the hills go higher towards the building and get lower towards the ground. And you do this at different heights in different areas, and then just bring the quartz walls down to meet the earth and it's great it just all looks really connected makes a big big difference now the next thing i want to do is as you can see once you build the island up like this it's still floating on nothing so i'm going to go around and put sand all around the edges and because sand has gravity it drops down and it sort of connects this island to the ground Ah, oh, this place has come so much to life by adding that build instead of being floating. It really does make all the difference. And what I love is like this crazy because of the size of this build. If you can notice this, these, there's two different grass colors here. Look, this darker, this different grass because actually this is a uh, whatever kind of biome. This is an ocean biome and this is a stone shore. So there's actually different colors of grass in different areas. A couple of things I want to show you that you couldn't really see in the sort of time-lapse style was that I brought this section here. I just brought decided to bring the stone down. And if you've got time, it just depends how much detail you want to put in a build. You want to try and do stuff like this. See where I've put lots and lots of sand around here to stagger it. So it looks kind of more natural than look here this doesn't look very natural but it's up to you because this is a lot of time a lot of resources to do these details and i just think it's good to have it going at least into the water so it looks nice and complete also don't forget to do the edge of these stairs there was something that i did uh, just during the time lapse you couldn't really see it and these stairs here you can bring them down whatever level you like that's the thing you want to make this build like the fortnite thing but also you want to do your own thing as well. Now the final things we need to do in terms of terraforming is we need to add a lot of trees to this area. And I was thinking to myself that building a tree, it's a bit of a natural sort of free flowing process. So I thought I would again show you how I do one and then I'll add in a whole bunch and tell you about the different variations. So for now, grab yourself some oak wood, some spruce fence and some green wool and let's get going. Right, so I think it's about here that I would like the tree to be. Now, initially the tree is basically going to be a sort of four wide job like that, but we're going to do other things like we're going to try and expand it out a little bit, maybe like into the ground, give it a bit more of a, a wider shape than that. So you can play around with that. Then what we can do is start building up, giving it some height like so. And then we're not just going to keep it going straight from the, the bottom to the top. We're going to try and do different stuff like maybe a bit this just doing two on the edge and two over the edge and building that up now there's a lot of trial and error with this i think that trees are really hard can be really hard and really easy <laughs> to build because in creative mode for example let's have a look see how this looks in creative mode Trees are really, I think, easy to build because it's really easy to hover and float around. Let's see, let's put something there and maybe something there as well. Because it's easy to float up and down and around and easily shape and sculpt the tree quite well. But this is much more challenging, I think, when it comes to this. So I think that's look looking not too bad, looking not too bad. So we'll keep building up a little bit more kind of get it to the height we want to and again we'll just keep what what do we want it to do it's kind of coming this way we want it to keep i want it to feel like it's leaning over this kind of direction here so i think might be getting to about a kind of height that we're looking for so let's come down now yeah you know actually I do quite like it. The thing is, a lot of times you look at it and you think, here, here I'm not so sure about it because it looks so straight. But ultimately, this is Minecraft, okay? It's a game of blocks. You can put curves in 
but it's tricky from here i love it i really like it looks great from there okay i think we've got this approximately the way we want we can come along and do little other things like this just to give it a, a bigger footprint at the base a bit thicken it up at the base but let me continue to show you what the next plan is so this is the first plan that we've got here building the trunk and then what we want to do now is start to add the branches and for branches we're going to use some spruce fence now this is when it's good to take a look at the actual fortnite map i don't want to show it in the video in case i get in trouble or something i'm doing it but have a look at the map and have a look at the top of the trees and what you'll see is that the trees have got like five approximately five what i would say i don't know heads kind of bushy bits so that's what we're gonna plan out here we're gonna build out five branches on top of which we can start developing so this one so if you you come and stand and look at it this way, this branch is kind of going to come out this way. And I guess we'll need one that sort of comes out this way, one that comes out this way, one that way, and one that way as well. So we're going to go in, add some branches. Again, don't, don't just put every branch at the exact same height. Put them at different heights. Play around with different height as well, because obviously you want you'll see bits of this as we build the grass around. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to add all five of these branches now. There we go, now we've got all of our branches in place and it's quite good to get some height up onto it and check. We've got three over here and then we've got three on this side as well. It's good to look for any gaps and things as well, but bearing in mind that this is flexible and you can change things slightly as you go. Now I've also built a kind of scaffolding framework as best I can to try and help with this next bit. So you want to grab your green wool and again I think I mentioned this when we were building this. Uh, I think the green wool Although leaves might seem to make more sense, the green wool looks more Fortnite-y. I don't know why. <laughs> but again, you're free to use whatever you, you desire. Now what we're going to start by doing, or what I like to start by doing when I build my tree, there's not really a, a right or a, a wrong way to build a tree, is by building kind of basically like a ball. <laughs> a, a little bit of a green ball, and then slowly expanding upon that ball. So there we go. We've got that up there so if we now drop down hopefully underneath we can continue that same pattern around our branch just a little something like this let's see we need to get over to this side what <laughs> that that's illegal you can't do that What's happening? But there's nothing that... That's so strange! <laughs> Why does it do that? It's freaking me out, man! It's freaking me out! Okay, we've approximately done this kind of... <clears throat> what I was hoping to achieve. A kind of an approximate sort of ball shape. Now I know what you're thinking, what kind of, what kind of balls do you play with? I hope you're not thinking that because that's very wrong. But <laughs> you just basically create a kind of approximate sort of ball sphere kind of shape around here. So we've got that one here. So what to do is we're going to put these on all of our branches. Just keep them small at the moment. And what this will do is it will give us something to then start expanding upon. But once we've got them on each of the branches, we can start to expand them, connect them together. And this should work out pretty nice. Okay, I'm going to have to break it. It didn't even turn into an item. This is cursed, cursed scaffolding. So there we go. That's what it looks like with our initial five things placed. Let's go along and get ourselves up onto the top of it and I'll show you what I mean. So you can see we've just very roughly, as roughly as possible, just built out the five, six, as it actually happens, six different branches and the six different areas. Now what you just want to do is, as a gradual process, or this is what I like to do anyway, as a gradual process, we just want to start expanding on this, connecting this together, making this bigger, and just keep doing it, getting a bit of distance on it, having a look, thinking about it, and then adding some more, and just keep building out. Because what you want to do is, you don't just want it to all 
stick together in one big green mass. You kind of want it to be five individual things that somehow stick together. I know that sounds weird to describe, but that's why I start with five different branches. So there's clearly five different branches, and then we're just going to slowly but surely keep expanding them out, enlarging them until it gets to a size we're happy with. Now you'll find that this is, of course, much easier to do on top of the tree. <laughs> and this gets a lot harder when you get underneath, but you got to stick with it because it's just as important that the tree looks as good on the top as it does underneath. So have some fun. Just stick on, I don't know, an audiobook, whatever it is you like to do. Grab your wool and just keep slowly and gradually building up your tree until it's something big and beautiful. And there's our expanded tree. I, I really like it. I think it looks really good. Let's have a look at it for some different angles. Now, I think the thing with trees in Minecraft, right, is that I, I don't think you ever really finish a tree. I just think you start working on it eventually. <laughs> because you could honestly just keep adding little blocks forever. You see, part of you thinks, you know, maybe I could do a little bit more, puff this out here. But I quite like the fact there's a bit of space in between there because what you don't have with the green wool that you do have when you have the leaves is, oh, please get this, yes. <laughs> when you have leaves, you can obviously, you could see through them a bit, see through parts of them, and that gives it a bit more depth. You don't have that with the wool, so you're relying on gaps between the wool. And that's what I meant about the sort of five different heads or different bits of tree expanding together, leaving bits of the branch exposed there. And I think it looks fantastic. I'm actually really, really happy with this. I've never used wool as a material, as the sole material for building a tree. And I think it's worked out really well. So that should hopefully give you the idea of how to build the sort of Fortnite tree. And what we're going to do is place them at different places around the island. Again, look at your actual Fortnite map to get that. But important ones are you've got two slightly smaller trees that are going to go on either side of here. The same thing at the opposite side of the building down here, as well as other ones around the island. So as I say, I'm going to add in all of these trees now and then we can have a look at where they go. The trees have arisen. We have got trees, trees everywhere oh yes this one is definitely a favorite i like the little ones here as well that we've got that are framing the entrance to the building helping it all bring to life this tree is really funny so this is like for some reason looks like a mushroom it doesn't look like a mushroom from there where do you have to be yeah here look that is a, a giant mushroom i bet i couldn't build a beautiful giant mushroom like that if i tried intentionally to build it but then you just check it from a different angle. It doesn't look like a mushroom there. It looks perfect. <laughs> it's bizarre. But yeah, we've got this. And then we've got the kind of smaller variants of the trees down here. I just for some reason really like this combination of blocks. It just... It just somehow works. It was mainly because I was trying to obviously replicate the Fortnite style. But I think it's just really cool. So yeah, we've got all trees around this side as well. Then, of course, we've got more here and our other ones framing the back. I think the one, I prefer the ones at the back than the ones to the front. I think it's quite difficult, actually, to fit them in because there wasn't a lot of... You have to tilt them to the, to the side. You can see they're both leaning to the side to accommodate that. But, yeah, trees, trees everywhere looking good. This bush was a little bit tricky. This bush appears on the map, I think. <laughs> And uh, trying to make a bush from this maybe doesn't work as well, but I think it's, it's okay. It's a bit, it just does look a bit strange, but it's not bad. And the other thing um, that I didn't mention to do is that I've tried to do as best I can on all the trees and bushes is add a little bit of this green carpet just to prevent spawning if that's something you're looking to do. So we're almost finished here, folks. The last little things we need to add are rock piles like these that I've started adding around. I'm going to go around to the last one so we can build it together. So for this, you're going to look for this combination of blocks here and the site, cobblestone, 
mossy cobblestone, andesite stairs, cobblestone slab, andesite slab. Basically, mossy cobblestone and andesite variants. And that's because they don't appear anywhere in the build elsewhere, so it helps them to stand out. So we're just going to add this last rock here, and I think it's gonna we're going to put it about here. So and this is the thing I like actually that's quite similar about Minecraft and Fortnite is that if you mine a tree and you mine stone, um, you, you get stone <laughs> in both games. So this is a similar thing. And these are what I believe these rock piles are for to um, help you mine resources. So how we're going to do it is we're going to start by kind of drawing this plus shape here. And we're going to use, oh, not like that. Not like that. We're going to use a, a variety of these blocks to just, again, tease it out, keep building it out, like a bit like we did with the tree, until we have a kind of stone pile that we're happy with the slabs there. And what you tend to do is make it sort of taller in the middle and make it sort of coming out thinner on the sides. Let's say I'd like one of these, uh, one of these, and let's put this one underneath like so. So you can just kind of build this rock pile. Now I'll take you around and show you some of the different styles that I had. Yep, okay, I prefer that a bit better. That's looking okay. Yeah, I think that, that works. There's a nice little rock pile there. Perfect. So that that's one that's kind of just standing on its own. And the other sort of variant that I've done for that is sort of embedding it into the, the thing. If you can see the difference. So the other one, it just it, it's a bit more freestanding. This one, it's a bit more sort of worked in with the terrain around. So that's a, another way that you could do it. You can just do whatever you like. And that's the thing as well. With, I've done my best to replicate exactly what's in the Fortnite map, but you can do as many or as few of these trees as you want, or mushrooms, <laughs> um, or rocks, or any of these types of things. But we are almost there. So the last couple of little bits of housekeeping that we're going to do are there is a pathway that goes, whoa, that, that did not go how that was meant to go. There's a pathway that goes from here and it kind of weaves down around this way. And so it leads down to this place here. So I'd like to add that pathway and probably we'll just do it like this. Using the shovel. So we're going to do that and lead that pathway up to there. And we're going to take away this border from around the outside because we don't need it anymore. Here is our pathway in place and uh, looking good. And with that, we have finished the terraforming and the exterior of our agency build. That is so awesome. Four episodes and long ones at that to get us here. But doesn't it look fantastic? Now, in the next episode, we'll be starting on the interiors. We've got offices, conference rooms, foyers a secret vault it's awesome so we've got four episodes of a real fun times ahead of us there so i hope you join me for that and ah uh, there is another enderman hole ah uh, those guys but anyway i hope you've enjoyed the episode and i'll look forward to seeing you next time for more awesome fun in minecraft so take care out there bye bye